Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at my Revenge from Mars and also uh, just go through the uh, way it's set up, what I have in it, stuff like that. And also I was blowing Fuse F109 in the game. So let's just go through some of the things and how to uh, dissect it and figure out maybe what the issue could be with blowing F109 in the game. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is the front of the Revenge from Mars. Like, this is the Translite. It's one of those, uh, the 3D type of ones, a lenticular, I believe they're called. That's what uh, type of Translite is on this game. There's a topper by Laserific and Tilt Topper up on the top. That was mainly, I think, used for Attack from Mars, but I already have one for my Attack from Mars, so I threw this one on my, on my Revenge from Mars, this topper. So it looks pretty good. I think it fits pretty well. Uh, I changed the speakers out on the game. I forgot what I put in them. They sound awesome. I could put a link to my show notes or my blog of what I used. I ordered them from Amazon back in the day. They sound great. They make such a huge improvement to the game. Uh, scroll down. I really didn't do much to the play field. I added the saucers on the bottom by, I think that uh, person, Apple Juice. He created those, that mod. It's really cool. Uh, but, you know, all the lighting and stuff like that in the game is working. And now, since I fixed the uh, that fuse, so I'm running in this a Pinbox 2000 right now. That's what's in here. I was going to get a new core. They never came out with it again. So I had to resort to that um, because I have a Star Wars. And I wanted something to be easy and quick to change out play fields. So... That's what I did, so I'm sure many other people did it too. My PC still works great, uh, no problems with that, but I just disconnected it, and that's what I use now. So let's uh, take a look in the back. Oh, yeah, before I go, let's do this. I did a couple videos on this too, uh, on my, one of my other videos, but I, changed, I put a launch ball here because what I did was I put a shooter rod and also the launch ball all in the one thing. So if I change the play field out to Star Wars, which I have as well, I don't need to change out the plunger and all that either. I just put in Star Wars and I play the game. And then I have both. I drilled a little hole in here, put the button for the launch ball. I got it from a guy on Pinside, actually, the idea. And again, I did a whole video on this as well. I'll put a link to my show notes about that as well. But that's what I did. I put the launch ball a button here. Left the shooter rod here, so if I change out to Star Wars, I don't need to go and change out that whole mechanism and all that. It's just easy on the fly, and that's it. So let's take a look at the back, see what kind of computer I'm using here, and how it's set up, and, and what I have in it to run the uh, the pin box. Stay tuned. Okay, so don't mind the light. That's an Optiplex Dell computer we're looking at. That's what I use to run pin box in this thing. I think it's like a 760 or something like that. I, I could give the part number. Yeah, Optiplex 760, that's what's in it. So that's what I use, they're cheap. I was able to find one still online, people were still selling them. So that's what I bought. And on top of that is where the PC resides. That's still in there and still, it did work the day I took it off. But, um, so that's what's in the front of this game. So let's go into the back and just see how it's wired up for a pin box and see how the sound and all that other stuff comes through the game. Stay tuned. All right, so this is the back of the game. Um, basically, here's the Optiplex. I have it held down with bungees so it doesn't fall out or nothing like that, but it's held in with this bracket, if you see it on the bottom and top. So it's kind of wedged in there pretty good. It's not really gonna go anywhere, especially with this uh, these bungees around it, and it's an, it, that's not gonna move at all. So uh, that's how it's set up, the, Opti the Optiplex uh, Dell computer that's in there. That's the PC that comes with the Revenge from Mars that's up there. I think I changed out the fan and the processor fan and all that kind of stuff before I went to the, uh, the Optiplex with the pin box 2000 stuff. So that's that. And then if you look to the side here, I have a sound amplifier. I had to cut the wires on my speakers and, and rig it up to that sound amplifier to get the sound to work. And it sounds, like I said, it sounds awesome. It sounds great. I still have the wires, like, you know, the, the harness and stuff. So if I ever want to re revert back or somebody wants to, you know, be old school with it, they can. 
Um, you know, there's not much to change, you know, what, if we wanted to go back to what it was before. So that's kind of that. But again, in a PC, all it really is in it is a power cord, a uh, sound cord to that goes to that amplifier, the VGA that goes to a, a larger f uh, flat screen TV. And I want to say that's your, it's either the parallel or serial cable that's in there to the left, that white one, this old school one here. I don't really know if that really does anything. Oh yeah, it might actually, it might connect to the, uh, the controls of the game. That's what that does. So that's probably a parallel port, not a serial. Serial port is, that's a, like a no modem cable that's up there that does the uh, programming. If you want to update the, uh, you know, old school, update the code to the game to the right over there. So, so I want to say that's a parallel port, which is here. So, uh, so that's it. So that's the back of the, of the, uh, box here. And let's look under the play field. I'll show you where those, uh, flashers were that needed to be changed and looked at for that J109 or F109, whatever that is, fuse that kept blowing. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, we're here today to do a quick video on a Revenge from Mars. I was having a problem with the fuse blowing F109, uh, and what that controls is mostly the flashers on this game. So I just want to do a quick tutorial, like what I did, and just kind of a look, and what J109 kind of actually runs, and what I did. I think I fixed it. I have like a temporary fuse in there, and we'll get to that in a minute to show that. But uh, let's just go through what J109 actually runs on the pinball machine. And like I said, it's mostly flashers. It's pretty much everything is flashers, not mostly everything. And where it starts, I kind of have the display in the back with the play field. It might be a little bright and stuff like that, but it's really the only way I could kind of do it. So if you go to your test mode, I'll kind of go through what J109 controls. And you need to have the high voltage on. So I'm going to push the button in the, uh, the coin box here, like you know where your door is for your coin door and activate the high voltage in the game. If I could find it, okay. So if you look at that red arrow flashing, that is controlled by J109, and that's uh, drive 17Q43. And I wanna say in the manual, if you look at it, yeah, so it's uh, solenoid 17. So it'd be drive 17, I guess that stands for. So let's turn, let's go through them. So that's that with the red arrow, you know, flashing up the, up the ramp. The next one is drive 22, and that's the red light that's blinking over the, um, the VUC, that when the ball spits out, that light flashes, like in Monster Bash and a couple other games. That is run by a left arch flasher. If you... Look at the bottom of the apron at the left-hand side. It, it activates that flasher. Drive 25, right, ar right arch flasher. I don't know if, if the camera could pick that up. Yeah, very vaguely it could pick it up. But let us let me just scroll down with the camera just so you could kind of see that. So if we turn that on, that flashes that. Let's go back to the left one. So that flashes that apron flasher. And then the next one is the Martian Flasher, which you can see at the left-hand side. Let's scroll up a little bit because that's more over the play field. So that's on the left-hand side over there by the left Martian. And the right Martian is flashing. So that's that one. And also the attack from Mars light in the middle of the play field, that's on that fuse as well. I think that's it. Yeah. So that's it. So the test is, you know, you got to go into your solenoid test on Revenge from Mars and go through the buttons, you know, make sure your high power is on and go through that like what I just did. But you can see that nothing is blown. If I went into my test mode, it would give me an error that that fuse kept blowing out. And what I did was I just went underneath the play field and made sure nothing was touching each other, moved stuff around, like changed a couple light bulbs and stuff like that too. Because it looked like a couple were burnt out or one was blown out. 
changed it and it seemed like it worked, like it fixed that problem. But let's go under the play field and take a look at what I did for um, a test circuit breaker. And this has been noted on pin side and stuff like that, but I never seen anybody actually show a video of how to use it. Maybe Clay Harrell did at one time, he probably did. But uh, besides him, I haven't really seen many other people make a video on this. So let's go under the play field and just take a quick look at what I did with uh, these fuses of how I set it up to see. So you don't blow through all these fuses that cost money and they just keep blowing. And you could set one of these up just to do a test. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are looking at the motherboard or the power board underneath the playfield of uh, Revenge from Mars here. I took the playfield out so we had easy uh, access to this play f or to this uh, power board here, driver board. And as you can see, there's a pair of alligator clips here that go to J109 or F109, whatever it is. So that goes right here. That's the fuse that kept blowing out. So I have these uh, alligator clips going to it with this kind of like the circuit breaker on the end of it that actually like if it resets, you could just push this button and it resets the uh, the fuse. So if you br if it blows, you just push this in it and it resets that uh, fuse over there. So that's kind of how I have it. And it was working that way with nothing tripping off the that uh, circuit breaker here. So I'm hoping when I put a fuse in it now, a real fuse, that it won't trip. So let's try it. People actually take these things and solder like a broken um, fuse to it. So it pops in and out of that fuse port right there, you know, like where you would put your fuse into. So they would solder a fuse into that. This actually trips. That just gives it the connection to the, uh, you know, the connection within the fuse. And that's how it works. But... I believe you could do it this way too with two jumper or uh, alligator clips to that connector as well without having to solder a fuse to it. And this is a 3 amp. The fuse in there is supposed to be a 4 amp, so I went one less. I don't want to go one higher. So if it tripped, at least I'm not above, I'm below, you know. So that was kind of how I looked at it. So let's put a real fuse in here, see if it trips, if it blows again, and we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Okay, so now we're looking in the manual after we just kind of uh, troubleshooted the game and all that. And on page, it's right in the beginning actually, the fuses are, yeah, it's a solenoid table. It's right after the title page, I believe. But if you look here, it says F109, not use, not use, not use, but then it tells you right popper flasher, left arch flasher, not use, right arch flasher, left Martian flasher. Right Martian flasher, red red hot dog flasher, and that's when it's in the middle of the game, I think, where uh, the it's the attack from Mars, um, light, I think. So, and also too, if you go to this page, I don't know how well this is coming up on the camera either, because it's very it's white, and I don't know how much it's reflecting on the page or not. But if you look to the right here as I turn my camera a little bit. If you look over here again, it tells you what solenoids, you know, in the on the page it's 245. But if you look at 244 and 245, 244 it gives you a diagram of what it looks like. And 245, it's uh, actually the solenoid flasher location. So it's flasher solenoid, um, 17 through 28, I believe it is. Yeah, so it's 17, center arrow flasher, and there's a couple not used, but then at the bottom here is 28, attack Mars flasher, and that's the ending of what the fuse uses for J109. So that's another place you could look to for the, uh, the description of what that fuse does in your game. And I actually just changed the fuse out, and it hasn't blown yet, so that's good.
All right, here's, so the, here's the underside of the play field. Nothing spectacular to look at, but we're just going to point out the different areas of where those flashers were for the, uh, the fuse for 109 and then just uh, take a look at it real quick and just show you kind of what I looked at, which lights to look at to see what maybe the issue could be. Stay tuned. All right, so this is the first light. This is the left alien light, I believe. Uh, that's over here on this side. So I checked that one, took it out, reseated it, stuff like that, cleaned it up, and then uh, put everything back together again. So that's the left-hand side of the alien uh, flasher. So let's go to the right-hand side of the alien flasher. Okay, so now we're on the right-hand side of the alien flasher, and I believe that one is right here, this black wire going in there. And there's a bulb on the end of that one too. Um, I don't know if it's an 89 bulb. I forgot what, what size is in there. But that, that I took out as well, redid the connector over here and made sure everything was connected the proper way. So that seemed like it worked as well. So let's go and look at the, um, the, the two lights in the middle of the play field and see how those are connected. Stay tuned. Okay, here are the other two bulbs. I believe it's this one here. It's in the middle. It's either this one or this one. I forgot. I want to say it's this one, but that's the flasher, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong. This might be the flasher. One of those. I took them both out and cleaned them and changed them anyway. And then there's a bulb up here that's above this board. That's another flasher that goes to the, uh, the attack from Mars light. It's up here, it's like in a gray housing up there. So it's another bulb, I believe, that's connected to that circuit. So the other two are under the apron and those are on the very top of the play field. So let's take a look at those. Okay, so these are the apron uh, flashers and the one at the very top that's by itself, I'm holding a tripod right here, but that one right there, that's the flasher for the apron and there's another one on the other side that, that looks just like that one for the right hand side. And that's the, the uh, flasher for the right hand side of the apron. Those I looked at, changed, you know, cleaned them up, changed them, made sure nothing was connected. Uh, let's just kind of go over on this side and look at that one really quick. And that one is all the way at the top, which is up here. Right there and that one I took out again cleaned it made sure nothing was touching the metal or anything like that so made sure everything was good so that's the other flasher so the only other one is the one that's above the vuck that's on top of the play field that you need to change we'll take a quick look at that one and then end the video stay tuned and the last flasher is right here and then you could take off the dome and then, you know, look at your flasher that's under there. So that's the last one in that string of, uh, of lights that you need to look at. Take it out, clean it, and see, you know, what the problem could be, possibly. And then uh, hopefully you'll fix your, your uh, fuse from blowing as well. So that's my Revenge for Mars. Stay tuned for some more videos when I create them. This is just a quick video, just again, so I had a problem with the fuse blow and I wanted to fix it. And I uh, just wanted to do a quick video of how I, what I looked at, how I think I fixed it, and just about that fuse, the way that I rigged that uh, fuse breaker up, just so you didn't have to blow all those other fuses if you're doing a test. And you know, you could go through a bunch of fuses if, uh, if you had these regular fuses in there instead of doing something like that. So again, um, there was someone on, on Pinside that was selling these. And I'll just do another quick thing about it. And again, you could alligator clip it, or you could just put a solder, a bad fuse, a, a broken fuse to the bottom of that. And it just goes in and out of the, uh, the port, you know, the, the connector within the back box or underneath the play field, like in this game. So, and then this would trip. So you would push that red button to untrip it. And again, you could put alligator clips in cl connected to the leads or a solder. This is a three, this is a seven amp, but I was using a three amp before. So, so that's it. So stay tuned for the rest of my videos. Thanks for watching. You see all my videos at www.pinballsupernova.com. All the links are there. And my Facebook, my YouTube, my blog, my Twitter, and my Instagram. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscriptions. Really appreciate it. 
and see you in the next video. Thanks.